There's a um, there is a two wire is the all tension is from from here you can see it's a black green red blue and when we get it uh, it should be connected like this and this way but is the all thing is blue red green black so yeah I need to I need to change the orientation on this uh, connector. So here's the thing for the hall sensor. Uh, in the wrong design document, there's a mistake over there. They said um, this this is X axis, this is Y axis. So as you can see here, uh, my wires is different from the wrong design because. For S axis, you need five volt, and uh, this is a uh, S axis pin signal, and this is Y ground, and here is a Y axis signal. Uh, is a input signal. So, in the world design document, uh, the S axis is uh, ground, and the S axis for the center pin. The center pin is a ground. And the right side is the firewall, so which can you can see here my this red wire X axis is connected to firewall. My Y axis, the black wire is connected to ground on the center of the pin. There's a three pin here, one, two, three, one, two, three. So one and three for X axis, one and two is Y axis. So this is the current connection of the wire, and this is my whole sensor. Let me go for it. So this is my whole sensor. As you can see here, um, this is uh, S axis uh, potential meter, and this one is uh, Y axis potential meter. So when you connect, you connect this whole sensor. Make sure you have the magnet. And in the document, they said this magnet has a different pole of uh, north pole and south pole the different way but actually it's the same you just need to uh, adjust the potential meter using a uh, Phillips screwdriver but training it until you get the uh, the LED LED lights on so now this is off when it's not trigger when it's trigger uh, you will be has a have a light See there's a light. See there is the light. Oh, it's very difficult to take it. Oh, yeah, there's the light. You might take off and you off. Put in. Yes, there is a light. So make sure the light is the trigger ratio is correct. And then uh, my first mistake is when you install this. Go back to auto play and then you type this query and stop. 
I will show uh, this is open which means uh, my SSCs my SSCs and YSCs is not it's not detect so if you open this is correct and you need to go to the, uh, the complete uh, the configuration file and then you find the S2 S2 the okay this is uh, and stop being can you see p1.29 for the um this configuration file i get it from the re uh, the forum design github and uh, inside it does not include the uh what do you what do you call this i already forget what you call this it, it comes with like this but actually you need to invert into this this is a correct one so uh, this one is uh, SSCs for the motor and then there's a Y yeah the P12.8 this is Y so make sure you change this uh, SSCs and Y so this is the correct one for the volume design document there's a this is a mistake there and then you click save click save and then you type uh, click you, you are ready we will you auto restart but to be confirmed if restart again you need to type firmware firmware underscore restart and you can see this is a clipper step ready which, which means it's connected and this is a clipper steady which means it's connected and then you press restart Oh, it's firm. Oh, see my. This is M, not N. Okay, this is the correct one, and then you click enter, and then it disconnect. It disconnect, and then once connected, it will show here. Yeah, ready. It's very quick, and then you can check the query and stop. Yeah, this is it. This is uh, how you check your um the whole sensor. This is the current way, and I yeah, this is the current way for the whole sensor installation.